The story of Ulula Ash goes back millions of years, when coal was formed deep underground through a myriad of geological and biological processes over thousands of centuries. Since its discovery as a reliable source of fuel, coal has become a universal raw material, primarily burned for the production of electricity and heat, and is used extensively for industrial purposes. Today, Coal is the largest source of energy for the generation of electricity on a global scale. South Africa's economically recoverable coal reserves are vast and large enough to sustain its coal-fired power stations for many years to come. The residue left behind after coal has been burned is ash fine powder residue which is contained within the flue gases as smoke which leave the chimney stack as waste. Historically fly ash was a waste product and greatly contributed to environmental pollution. But it has come to be realized as an innovative product for the construction industry as a highly effective pozzolan. As a complement to Portland cement, fly ash is renowned for its qualities of high strength and durability and when used in fresh concrete, improves its workability. Creel Power Station is one of only three ESCOM power stations which receives its coal entirely by conveyor systems from a dedicated mine. If the input coal is consistent, the fly ash that emanates from the power station is also consistent under equal burning conditions. The coal is deposited directly from the conveyors in massive coal bunkers for storage. This coal is then fed into mills to be pulverized. This pulverized coal is blown into the boiler with hot air. Combustion is instantaneous. Temperatures of up to 1300 degrees Celsius are reached. The carbon content in the coal is burnt in less than one second, leaving all the other non-combustible materials as steam vapor rising up the boiler. As this vapor cools down, it solidifies into fly ash microbeads, predominantly made up of malite, quartz and calcite. It is also at this point that the fly ash gets some of its characteristics. The burning temperature, the residual burning times and cooling rates influence the characteristics, including the chemistry of the fly ash. This incredible heat warms up the boiler tubes which are filled with water. The water is then evaporated. This highly pressurized steam powers the turbines which in turn generate electricity. This steam does not contain fly ash. The smoke which would otherwise bellow out of the top of the stack is in fact fly ash which is collected with electrostatic precipitators that act as a filter. This fly ash is then pneumatically conveyed to the auxiliary ash plant silo. This is where the interface between ESCOM and Ulula ash is. We can divert the ash directly to our receiving hopper. The fly ash can either be pumped directly to the storage silos or it can be fed to the classifiers which are installed below the receiving hoppers. The classifier is a unique piece of equipment which separates the coarser fraction of the fly ash, thereby ensuring a strict limit on the particle size of the fly ash. The fly ash is once again pumped, this time across the security fence into the Alula ash storage silos. Any fly ash that is not used is conditioned with water and transported in this case by conveyor belt and water for disposal on enormous fly ash dumps. Our plant has been engineered to supply the highest quality fly ash and we have full control at all times. We can tap into all six ESCOM boilers and select the fly ash we want and when we want it by merely opening the diverter valve. We constantly test samples for quality compliance and pride ourselves on our guarantee of consistency. Our two products are Class S ash, which is classified, and Class N ash, 
which is selected and collected only when the ash conforms to the correct criteria. Both classes of ash strictly adhere to SABS specifications. Whilst offering delivery to wherever you are, clients can also use their own vehicles to efficiently load and transport Alula ash. Each vehicle has a sample retained for 30 days and is tested to ensure it conforms to our specifications, offering you peace of mind. The process of receiving fly ash, the quality procedures and quality testing are all managed by highly skilled and motivated people. At Alula Ash, we believe that in order to get the best results, it is important to employ competent and professional staff. Another reason to remind you why Alula Ash is the best choice, committed to its customers. An informed choice leads to a good choice. Make the right one with Alula Ash. The personal touch people, big enough to listen, dedicated to deliver.